Okay, finally. Sorry that I ended up coming on a little late, uh, both in terms of... Sorry, just getting the wires all untangled. <laughs> uh, sorry for coming on a little late as far as both the actual stream time is concerned, but also... Uh, but also for the as far as the free stream is also concerned as well. Evening. Well, it's actually afternoon for me, but uh, yes, evening, uh, Lilith. <laughs> Max's best psycho bunny? That he is. That he is. That is why I wanted to get uh, an artwork of that because Max is my, uh, uh, he is my beloved and I cherish him with all my heart. <laughs> um, but yes, hello. Uh, hey everyone, how is it going? Uh, I should probably pull some of the blinds down actually, give me a moment. <laughs> Watch of One Piece just hips of 153 of English dubbed. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's right as Skype is starting. Uh, I might be liking it. It's really, really fucking good. Like, it's been a while since I've seen Skype here, like quite a while, and I kind of want to either rewatch or reread to kind of refresh my memory on it because. I honestly don't remember whether or not I like Skypea or not. So, I know I like Jaya. Jaya has enough moments where I'm like, oh, yeah, no, no duh, I, I fucking love Jaya. But Skypea, I'm always kind of like, hmm. Because I, 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 I remember watching it. I don't remember t taking it in all that much. Want to bell me to die? Uh, yeah, he's pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> he's pretty bad. He does, uh, does come back. And he's better there, but that's all I can say. Uh, definitely from Australia because it's not here in California. Well, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's that do be how time zones work. <laughs> um, but yeah, sorry for all the running around. Uh, let's see. Now we can wait a little bit longer before the uh, the game starts. I can just chat for a little bit. Um, yeah, so. I had the best to do a bunch of running around. My brother had to, uh, he had to go to a friend's place and because he doesn't have a license, I'm basically like, all right, I guess I'll, I guess I'll take you. Uh, so I had to take him there. Uh, plus, um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> uh, plus I had to basically just do a bunch of running around, like feeding, uh, feeding the bird and, uh, and I'm also waiting on a package from Zen because her Christmas presents to me are finally uh, about to come uh, come in. So I can't wait for that. It's either going to be today. So if I get off screen to like run down and rush down uh, to the door, then you'll know why. Um, but otherwise, uh, it should it should go all smoothly. And if it doesn't come today, then it's going to come tomorrow as well. Uh, also, I feel like I should give. Uh, two specific art shout outs uh, for today. For one thing, uh, I wanted to give a shout out to Tifa, my uh, my lovely co editor Tifa, uh, for making the Max artwork that you see on both the thumbnail and also on the uh, intermission screen. Lovely, lovely stuff. Uh, so, yeah, Tifa made that artwork. Uh, she did a fantastic job on that, and I can't wait to keep commis uh, commissioning her to do more artwork for future streams as well, because she is going to be doing that. Um, and then also, uh, I actually commissioned this little piece up here, not specific specifically for this stream or anything. This was just a meme that I wanted to get done. Uh, and my good friend Becky, uh, who her handle on Twitter is BeckyHop13. Uh, she made this little, uh, meme of, uh, Haru and Sakura from Persona 5 and Fate Stay Nights, respectively, and I love it. <laughs> I love this meme so much. Uh... Okay, I... I hate the little emoji thing that's in the corner here because it cuts off whatever message is at the bottom. So I had to, I had to zoom in to read your message there, Lilith. Um, 
surprised you didn't do the LucasArts game since it's on Steam. Yeah, I'm gonna save that for a more LucasArts themed marathon. Uh, like, uh, Day of the Tentacle. I think the game is Full Throttle. Uh, maybe Grim Fandango. Uh, there is one part of Grim Fandango that does trigger my arachnophobia, so I don't know about that one just yet. Uh, but yeah, I wanna do a more... Uh, I want to do a more LucasArts themed marathon, and that's where I'm going to tackle uh, Sam and Max Hit the Road. Uh, plus, I, I have tried the stream Hit the Road before, and uh, I'm not going to hold this to the game, but uh, it was during like one of my last attempts to like try and do streaming full time before now, uh, before I like I, I've really gotten things ki uh, kicked off right now, and. Uh, I remember getting really stuck and not feeling compelled to continue the game. I also think it didn't help that I really didn't have an audience back then. So I just, I didn't, I had no, I, I just did not feel compelled to like just continue through with that game. Um, but yeah, so that shouldn't be an issue here, obviously. Uh, okay. So with that said, I think I should be, oh, hold on. Let's see. I'm getting a message. One moment. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, what, was, what was I going with this? Okay, Sam and Max. My history with Sam and Max, because I feel like that, that is a good place to uh, kind of get started uh, just on the right track here on this on this playthrough, because we are going to be going through all three Telltale games. We're going to be playing Saves the World, uh, Beyond Space and Time, and also Devil's Playhouse. Uh, when the remaster comes out, it's currently re uh, scheduled for release in spring of 2024 uh which for me is is gonna be autumn uh but yeah so the uh the plan is to basically go through all three of the games if uh the time comes where we've beaten beyond space and time and we and devil's playhouse remastered hasn't come out yet then we'll come up with some buffer you know i'm, or, I'm already planning on doing some games in between the game uh the sam and max titles uh not much just like one game in between every sam and max game basically and like a very short stream at that but yeah so we're basically gonna you know have a buffer of some kind if devil devil's place house remastered isn't out by the time we how we finish season two so, yeah, but in terms of my history, Devil's Playhouse, the third season, is actually what I have the most experience with, actually, because I found out about Sam and Max when Devil's Playhouse came out, and I saw a review of it uh, by actually an Australian game review show called Good Game. Uh, it's, yeah, we had, we had a televised game review show, uh, two of them, uh, one of them for uh, mature audiences, and then another one for um, also... G and PG rated games um, and that's where I saw Sam and Max for the first time because the third season had, uh, had just ca come out so that's where I learnt of it went back, looked into the first game and while I never beat the first game I, I do know, I will say Episode one, the episode we're about to cover right now, that's the this is the one that I have the most experience with with season one of Sam and Max because this one I played like uh, I, I've played it I've played it before I've seen it played out multiple times so I know a lot about it I I'm probably not gonna remember like the exact specifics of like where to go what to do because it has been quite some time but. Yeah, so this was the one I have the most experience with. I do have experience with, like, one or two of the other episodes as well, but I never saw all of the first season. Meanwhile, 
I have seen all of season three. Again, it has been a while, so there's things I don't remember about it, but uh, I have had the most experience with Sam and Max, The Devil's Playhouse, which is season three. Season two, Beyond Space and Time, I've never played. Uh, I know one thing, like one plot element of the final episode, but otherwise I've never played uh, Beyond Space and Time. So that's going to be an entirely new experience for me because I've never even touched that game. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> I played No Sam and Max, uh, so it'll be fun to watch it all with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you get to uh, experience the franchise with me. That'll be a, a lot of fun. That'll be like just a ton of fun to see uh, your reactions to everything for the first time. It's a really fun series. Uh, I love the dialogue. I think the dialogue, while... Very low key. It's very like uh, it's like low key kind of dialogue, but it like the pu like it punches you really hard with uh with some of its with some of its jokes. It's really really funny. But yeah, uh, before we begin, I do want to try and call Tifa to see if she wants in. Uh, otherwise, we'll just begin. But I will call her at least once to uh to see if she wants into the call. Or into the stream, I should say. Apologies for the uh, Discord uh, blinging. Blinging? Ringing. The Discord ringing. <laughs> Alright, it seems like Thief is not going to be available. If she's taking this long, then usually she doesn't, uh, she doesn't join in. Alright. I'll keep that to the side anyway, just in case. I hear Discord bull- <laughs> Discord bullying? Alright. <laughs> Max, are you talking dirty? I, for you, Max, any day. For you, Max, any day of the week. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Eliza. How's it going? How is it going? Alright, you're just in time, because I am literally just about to start. Uh, we will, of course, do our usual uh, testing out of everything. So, let me just switch on over to the setup. Also, I gotta minimize, oh, uh, not minimize, but I gotta decrease the chat. So, is that good? Yeah, it looks good. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, that, that works, that works, that works. Uh, maybe, actually, you know, maybe you just increase a little bit more. Alright, yeah, that works, that works, that works. Alright, now the bottom isn't cut off. That is good. That works out. Alright, let's begin the game. Let us begin Sam and Max. Okay, uh, you can't see it, but there's a real, uh, there's a nice little launcher. Because, alright... So the version of Sam and Max Saves the World I'm going to be playing is of obviously, in case you couldn't tell from the uh, from the title or you know or the thumbnail, uh, we're going to be playing the remastered version of Sam and Max Save the World, uh, which was released in 2020. Uh, wait, was it 2020 or was it 2019? Oh god, it wasn't 2019, was it? Wait, hold on, I'm, I'm looking this up. Sam and Max remastered. Okay, no, it was twenty twenty. It was twenty twenty. Okay, I'm 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 not I'm not making that up. It it, it was twenty twenty. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we are playing the uh twenty twenty remaster of Sam and Max Save the World. It was made by the uh the same team. I'm pretty sure who worked on the game back at Telltale. Uh, they've made their own company now called uh, Skunk Ape Games. Uh, you'll know why they are called Skunk Skunk Ape Games by the time we get to season three. Uh, but. Yeah, so they have currently just been going ahead and remastering all three of the Telltale Sam and Max games. First two are out. Third is coming out in spring this year. Um, Sam and Max are going to because of my mom. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's cute. Also, you two are adorable. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the remaster version basically stretches the game out to widescreen. It has a shiny coat of paint, uh, coat of paint to everything, which is gorgeous. Like these remastered versions of Sam and Max look absolutely lovely. They look really damn good, so damn good. Um, 
And uh, another thing they do is they do, at least in the first game, I'm not sure about the second or third, I'm pretty sure there isn't anything in the second or third that's been cut, but in the first game, there are a small handful of dialogue. Uh, dialogues, dialogue, whatever. There's a small bit of dialogue, uh, about three or four lines, maybe, uh, that have been cut because they, you know, times have changed and, you know, the kind of language that they use ha just isn't, uh, like, hasn't been deemed acceptable, uh, to be used nowadays, so the developers just ended up cutting those lines of dialogue, which did cause a little bit of a, uh, of a controversy when the game came out, but luckily that, hasn't really stuck and these are basically the uh the, the de facto versions of the games to play oh also one of the characters bosco uh did have a voice actor change because uh bosco is a black man and in the original he was voiced by a white actor and they figured let's have him be voiced by a black actor for the remaster that's basically all that was uh that's basically all that was changed uh hey tavia how's it going uh what is going on we're playing sam and max we are playing sam and uh, max Question, uh, was the third game, uh, with Abe Lincoln? Actually, Abe Lincoln is in all the games. Uh, Abe Lincoln is in absolutely, uh, every single one of the three Telltale Sam and Max games. So, uh, that'll be fun to see. He's not gonna be in, uh, this episode, but he will be in, like, either episode three or four, uh, one or the other. Um, but what I was gonna say is that the launcher for the game actually has... All, you can't see it, uh, but it has all three of the Sam and Max, uh, not three, all six of the Sam and Max, uh, episodes, uh, like, from the original. So you could play all of the original versions of the game from this launcher. You don't even have to play the remaster. You can just play the uncut, unedited, original versions. But we're not going to be doing that. We are going to be playing, uh, the remastered version. Because, again, it just looks the best. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to make sure OBS is capturing. There we go. There we go. It's looking nice. It's looking crispy. Let me just make sure the stream preview at the top is also available there. There we go. Okay. Let's begin. I also love the music in this game. Uh, this will give me a good chance to... Uh, see how the the the, uh, the music is to my uh, to my voice uh does the game uh hold on let me just adjust the settings over here where's the cursor there we go um uh does the the audio of the game sound good uh contrasted with my uh with my voice does it all sound good does it all sound gucci Yep, keep everything like that. Subtitle background. I'll keep the subtitle background off. I think it'll be easy, easy to read. I'll change it if not. Uh, I am going to keep the game on English, but let's see how many languages the game is in. Alright. <laughs> graphic settings. Uh, graphic quality high. Uh, uh oh, game's freezing. Low, high. Oh, I see. The lighting is uh, is decreased with uh, with low. All right, I'll set it to high though, because my computer can take it. Uh, texture quality. Oh my god. <laughs> let's let's. Okay, hold on. I want I want to see how this looks with just the absolute lowest amount of fucking settings. Hold on. Let's look at this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Now we got the proper Telltale, like, 2005, or, no, it's a 2006 feel. Uh, but no, let's, let's set everything to the highest it can possibly be, because I can, because the computer can take it. Uh, resolution, oh, I can go up to 4K. Uh, I'm pretty sure this monitor's 1080, though, so I'll keep it at 1080. Uh, controls, move, click, uh... Ta okay, tab is for the inventory. Uh, run, run is shift. Uh, oh, actually, I can toggle that. I think. Can I? There's a slider here, so can I toggle it? Uh, oh, I oh, oh, that's just pointing towards it. Okay, and the pause menu is escape, and then T shows the hotspots. Gotcha. All right. Sounds fine. Sounds perfect. Sounds perfect to me. Okay, that's good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Uh, with that said, ooh, save slots. Empty. 
Ah, oh, okay, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. Uh, with that said, let's begin. So, Sam and Max Save the World uh, has uh, six episodes. As uh, six, Basically, if you're not familiar with Telltale games, uh, which, for the record, we will probably be playing a couple of Telltale games on stream, uh, not just the Sam and Max titles. Uh, there's also Tales from Monkey Island in the, uh, the Monkey Island series that we'll likely be getting to when we inevitably play Monkey Island. Uh, I actually want to do the Telltale Walking, game, uh, Walking Dead games because... Uh, I actually really have a lot of nostalgia for the first two. I never played the third and fourth, but I do have nostalgia for the first two uh, Walking Dead games by Telltale. So uh, I definitely want to get around to those. But if you've never played a Telltale game, basically they were released episodically, uh, you know, via, you know, digital storefronts. And basically you just play every single, you purchase every single episode on their own uh, to get the full story. Although in Sam and Max's case, there is no real full story. It's basically just one episode after another with episodic storytelling. Uh, Devil's Playhouse does have a somewhat serialized story, but we can get to that when we get to season three. What about uh, Wolf Among Us? Maybe. I actually might play Wolf Among Us. Maybe, though. Uh, I'm probably going to play that in my own time because I, I have played Wolf Among Us like years and years ago, but I'll probably play because I do have other planes this year. So I'll probably play it in my own time in the lead up to Wolf Among Us 2. And then later down the line, we can play both games on stream. But yeah. But their biggest success and their biggest downfall? Uh, in some respects, yes. I have heard the final season is really good, but uh, there are portions of season two that I have heard are very mixed. Uh, well, not heard, not heard. I know what portions of season two are really mixed. Um, but yeah, so... We could we could save that when we eventually get down uh, down to uh, to Walking Dead because we will play that down the line. Uh, my favorite Walking Dead uh, Telltale game was uh, Wolf Among Us and Tales from the Borderlands. I never played Tales from the Borderlands because I haven't played Borderlands. But hey, maybe another stream for a uh, another time. But yeah, one thing I love about this uh, this menu, by the way, is you can just basically scroll on over to every single one of the uh, the games here. It's really cool. But with that said. Let us go ahead and jump in to episode one, Culture Shock. And I'm going to say stay silent because uh, we got a very, very cool uh, uh, title screen to, uh, to, uh, to, see, to see here. If it'll show up. Just seeing Sam's flaming head in the corner. That'll have a lot more relevance when we get to season three. <laughs> Here we go. I love the music in these games so much. <laughs> Turn that shit up. God, the remaster for this game is so good. Just like comparing it side by side with the original. For the record, this is also a different title screen than the original game had, because the original game had uh, just completely silhouettes uh, for the characters. It's a very weird car. The car's not the weirdest part. <laughs> the car is not the weirdest part. Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we going to get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah, I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Fucking rat. <laughs> Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. 
Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. The deli the delivery of all the of all the lines is also amazing. Uh, <clears throat> one thing to know is that Max actually does have a different voice actor in the first episode compared to literally everything else, including the rest of this game. Like episodes two to six, Sam, uh, sorry, Max has a uh, a completely different voice actor, uh, and it'll, it'll be the voice that that carries us through to the rest of the games as well. He's the voice in season two and three. Uh, Ever watched the Sam and Max cartoon? That I have. That I have. I can see this car in Wacky Races. Honestly, now that you say that, I do want Sam and Max in Wacky Races. <clears throat> yeah, the cartoon had different voices from uh, both Hit the Road and this game, because it, it existed in a weird uh, in-between time, but yeah. Anyway, uh, here's the game. We're mostly going to be taking control of Sam here. Uh, and we can either control him with WASD, or we can actually, you know, just, act, like, make this, a, like, control this like a true point and click and just click around the place to have him uh, go places. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I remember that case particularly gruesome. I wonder if those dates mean anything. I wonder if those dates mean anything. Ah, it's something to look into. <laughs> Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me! Which is why I haven't tried it. <laughs> Again, Max is my beloved. I fucking love this dumb bunny. I love this dumb fucking bunny. Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? What do you think that was on the phone? Ooh, maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the union. All right. I wish we hadn't missed that call. It might have been the commissioner calling with a case. Yeah, hey, or maybe it was the president about my idea to do daylight savings time in five minute increments. Oh, God. Hello, I was trying to fight the uh, the normal uh, final boss of Sonic uh, Superstars, and I freaking hate it. It, it could be a pain. It could be a pain. I actually think it's one of the best bosses in that game, actually, if I'm going to be honest. Because uh, most of the bo bosses in that game are just shit. They are just awful. Uh, Max is great. Max is, Max is great. Max is terrific. Uh, true point and click. No clue how, how you control that. Uh, but yes, welcome, Pixel. Uh, it's great to have you here. We are playing some Sam and Max Save the World. We just got started. Does that feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. You sure you don't remember where you put that cheese, little buddy? Sheesh, you'd think I'd forgotten my pants or something. It's here in the office someplace. Max, I don't want to see you with pants. And that sounds very sexually provocative, but it's like, listen, Max with pants would be fucking cursed. Never let it happen. Oh, I feel so all alone because some crook has swiped my phone. Rodent or rodents unknown. <laughs> Sam, shut up. Where's my banjo, Max? I've hidden it for the good of society. Thank you, Max. Do you ever wonder what life would be like if we were bugs? Sure, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have more arms. Some days I can feel the atmosphere pushing on my head like a giant thumb. Some days I hide weights in your hat to see if you'll notice. Does that feel drafty in here to you? Hey, right, you're the one with clothes on. All right, now it's repeating. All right. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. Is that a reference to the show? Because I'm I, I'm half convinced they went to the moon, uh, went, went into outer space in the show. I can't remember. It's been it's been literally over a decade since I even looked into into the Sam and Max cartoon. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, <laughs> me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quieter times. Now that looks like a wacky races uh, vehicle. <laughs> yeah, they did. Good. I, I'm I'm glad I'm remembering that right. <laughs> Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. One of these days, we're going to finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. We'd really better not leave until we've taken care of this Swiss cheese ransom the phone deal. 
All right, I guess guess the rest of the game's gonna be in the dock. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? Yeah, we got we, we got to turn the lights off for some really serious uh, detective work here. Can I inspect the the bullets. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. <laughs> I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. Oh, you're fucking evil. You're fucking evil, Max. Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect. I'll take two. Hmm. Man, made by Hugh Bliss. I'm sure that's not going to uh, come back at, at all in this game. No comment. I'm sorry, what's on there? No comment. This is just... No comment. Alright, just regular graffiti. I thought, I thought, I thought there was going to be something really cursed on there. Expel your... I think... Mm -hmm. Alright. Just wanted to see if there was going to be anything else. Wait, hold on. What was, Ma what was Max's dialogue Separate there? Sorry, Sam's bliss. dialogue. There sure are a lot of commercials on this channel. <laughs> it's just, I love it, poking fun at you for just doing the same thing again and again. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. Psst. <laughs> Yeah, totally not a cult. You say that now. <laughs> Is that a hangman noose? Uh, where? Oh, that? No, it's, uh, it's just the coat rack. Yeah, you, you don't have ropes on your coat rack? Come on. Where's the rest of the noose collection, Max? It's a surprise. Oh, no. Uh, anyway, okay. Let's go over here. Uh, let's go to the closet. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. Yep. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. I, you'll never guess how we get Swiss cheese. Do you guys want to, uh, do you guys want to know how we get the Swiss cheese, uh, Swiss cheese in this game? Is there really a cult in this game? Uh, you'll find out. You'll find out. <laughs> that is a lot of cheese. Uh, that cheese is going to get rotten fast. Uh, yeah, basically. Uh, okay, so here's how we get here's how we get the, the Swiss cheese. We get this gun over here, and we just do this. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. It definitely wasn't. You should, you should see the cheese on Sunday nights. Yeah, it's really, really not innocent. Voila, Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila. Dang it, don't hate uh, you and... <laughs> yeah, I don't eat Swiss cheese myself. I don't like the texture of it, honestly. Alright, let's leave it for the rat. No. I don't want to... No. Go to the... There we go. Greetings. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. <laughs> if you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Yeah, no. <laughs> now, let's discuss this calmly. Oh, that's being let's offensive. Debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. <laughs> I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. Hmm. Yeah, I I love um, I love how the the lights being turned off makes this even better. <laughs> I haven't tried Swiss in years. Yeah, I mainly eat feta. That's the only cheese I really uh really really like is feta cheese. Melt the Swiss cheese uh, is good though. Okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Right, yeah. 
and you can basically switch between Sam and Max's dialogue, just like that. All right. We've met your demands. We got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck. You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? A hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. <laughs> We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German-crusted palms. Yeah, yeah, I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know. Yeah. Can I go now? I... <laughs> uh... Yeah, in case you can tell, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm purposely going to, like, try and get through every single one of the, uh, the dialogues as I can. Uh, so, uh, like I said, some episodes I haven't played, so maybe I'll just miss out on some, but where I know that I'll be able to, like, what to do in terms of getting most of the dialogue, I will try and get all of them. Just because this game has a lot of fun dialogue. Good cop, mad cop. No, 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 no. Bad cop, even worse cop. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. <laughs> That's my favorite one. You do it again. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry, amateurs. Hmm. Maybe I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. You bore me. A hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Hmm. I think that's the one to, uh, to progress it. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Can I go now? Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah, I'm shaking like bacon here, amateurs. I... You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Shouldn't, oh, really? Shouldn't have said that. Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! <laughs> ah, for the love of... So it literally I did I have in him. see that. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Max. <laughs> Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was the commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Okie dokie. Uh... To do the opposite of what you would normally do uh, when when leaving your home, let's turn on the lights. All right, now we can leave. <laughs> Remember, a cab doesn't include Sam and Max because they're freelance. Yes. Yes, you have the correct mind about it. Why do I feel like Max uh, Max has a big uh, big body count? Ah, uh, big body count wouldn't even describe it. <laughs> it wouldn't be the ha wouldn't even be the half of it. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need: more lame poetry. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure we won't be using the car right now.
Oh. Hey, where, where are you going, Sam? I clicked the car. Are you not gonna comment on your car? Are you? Where are we going, Sam? Okay, that's a really long time to just process like the the clicking of the car. Let's go pull over some random motorists. No, no place. Way. Never mind. Hmm. All right. I think I'm gonna use WASD for now. All right, never mind. It's gonna get tiring real fast. <laughs> oh, you can sprint. I can't remember if that was in the original or if the, one of the sequels added that. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. <laughs> they say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Doesn't Sam Max have a Superman reference? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of references in Sam Max. You know, we shook the alley for dead rats. Yep, yeah, that is true. I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> Not really, but you know. Dead end. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. <laughs> Looks like there's going to be a lawnmower show. Great! I love riding mowers. They're like golf carts with teeth. Pretty sure they the say graffiti is just what Yeah, pretty sure the graffiti uh comment is the same across everyone. This place used to be Lefty's tool rental shop. Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with a number three socket spanner. Exactly! Good times. <laughs> Wasn't Lefty in a, a character in Hit the Road? Sam and Max Lefty. Alright, no, never mind. It's just a, just a throwaway thing. Alright. Okay, just wanted to double check. I never finished Hit the Road. I played it for like one or two streams and then never finished it. Something to, to do eventually for, again, a more LucasArts themed marathon. Is that a reference to the comic? Okay. Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. <laughs> Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. It's called the Soda Poppers, and the 70s are not old. Specs, it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! Oh, uh, God. I, I never liked how these guys looked. I Like, all of them, I never liked how any of them looked. I don't like, like, the, the whitish, like, the real white pale looking mouths. I don't like the freaking, uh, like the, the freckles on the face. I, I, I don't like the outfit. I, I don't like how these guys look. I'm gonna be real. Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. <laughs> Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky! I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. Yeah, I'm sure that's the issue. People keep moving. What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up or something like that. Huh. You made me mess up, which you just did. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. Hmm. My two, uh, my two, uh, nerd resolutions, uh, are watch some Voltron and watch all Doctor Who spin-off. Okay. When you say Doctor Who spin-off, you mean, uh, Sarah Jane Adventures? Because that's been on my list for ages as well. Ah, oh, all of them, okay. Oh god, 1974 is 50 years ago. I don't know why that is an issue for me. Considering the fact that I was born 
like freaking 25 years later. Oh, no, you know what? No, I I know why it's an issue for me. It means my parents are 50 years old. They do not feel 50. They do not feel 50. <laughs> also, there's also Torchwood and Canine Adventures. Yeah, yeah. So Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today. Yeah, definitely not a cult. Where can I find a copy of the video? They carry them over at Bosco's. You should get it. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. <laughs> so Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light. Oh, already did that. Sounds fast. You can never get enough of. Didn't I see you on an episode of Celebrity Slap Fight? I was desperate. It was heavy into three ring binders at the time, and I needed the money. You got your clock cleaned by that lady from Old and in the Way. Never saw that walker coming. Well, that's nice. Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg. It's Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg. <laughs> Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never. Is this art or is it advertising? I, I, I'm not. Is there really any difference? Good point, little buddy. Do you live to paint or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. Did you take lessons to learn how to do that? No, it just came to me one morning. This morning, in fact. Hmm. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady culture. Yes, everyone loves him, so therefore it makes it okay. Peepers is the worst of the three sort of puppet. Is that the one that's in the store right now? Because if so, I agree. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No. Where? <laughs> I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Hmm. Don't do that. Max, is that a fly in the paint there? What? No. Where? <laughs> just kidding again. And people wonder why I need therapy. Oh, this poor man. <laughs> well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next. Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. Max, you've got the TV schedule memorized. Weren't the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on channel 173, the Child Star Exposé Network, which we only get when it's convenient. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna fix the screen a little bit so I can fix up this. Oh, OBS isn't even open, what the hell? I mean, it is, but there we go. Alright. 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 Okay, Let's get inside. Your family may be in danger. See page two for details. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist! A munchkin terrorist! He'll be the death of us all! Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers. Hmm. Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? Ew. Yeah, Wizard. 
He's a former child star? Poe, just lock him up and throw away the jail. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself. How can I be calm with a munchkin terrorist in my store? Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's Ibo? What is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Oh god, he's doing the, the baby like pose like that. <laughs> oh god, just that just clicked to me right now. I hate calling him wizard. I hate that calling him wizard is kinda clever. Yep. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. <laughs> it makes no sense. I smell <laughs> a conspiracy. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. <laughs> no, it's definitely a conspiracy. Yeah, so Bosco is a conspiracy theorist, uh, and he's always going to have just some weird machinations every single episode. Sounds very cultish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's also worth noting, like I said before, Bosco had his voice uh, voice actor changed uh, in, in the remaster. I think he's pretty good. A lot of people hated it when it first came out, but honestly, I think his voice is good. Uh, I'd be lying if I said his original voice wasn't iconic, but this one's also really good. I, I, like, I like the way he's delivered the lines. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, lint, pastrami, hairspray. Stop right there. Hairspray had no part in this. <laughs> oh, sure. That's what you'd like to believe. Oh, do you care, Max? You're not, you don't even have hair. Well, no, I guess you do technically have hair because you are a hair yourself. Have you actually witnessed this Ivo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. Wow, thanks a lot, Bosco. <laughs> Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes, he keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. Should have so thought. We've got a video with that. dumper and serial leak taker. <laughs> Not even the National Guard can help us now. So all this wizard character's doing is delivering videos. And abusing his bathroom privileges. <laughs> That's it? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? No way. I've got BTADS, the single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. BTADS? Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? <laughs> yep. Bosco Tech Automated Defense System. I made it myself. Wow, I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? Well, just pull a weapon. You'll see. Or try to walk out of here with something. Go ahead. I dare you. All Maybe right. we will. All right. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? About the munchkin terrorism. Uh, we'll come back to it in a second. We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pine sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! Alright. Well, seems like the, uh. Oh, and he's just, that's, that's just him running around. Alright. Seems like the issue is, uh, is, is pretty dire, Bosco, so. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Oh, come on. I was gonna shoot him! Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Clean up on aisle three! Hmm. <laughs> You okay, Sam? I'll need a new skull, but otherwise, no complaints. <laughs> Bosco's is a gun-free zone. Gun-free? Sartre was right. Purgatory really is a convenience store. Don't make me laugh, little buddy. It jiggles my sensitive cranium. Well, 
little dog people and other animals, people, uh, uh, out of the animal people with fur. People who make stuff, uh, like hairspray would, uh, would be making a bank. Yeah, actually, you say that. Yeah, that is very, very true. Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. One dollar lottery tickets. Two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. You know what, Bosco? This doesn't seem like it's all that uh, serious. I think we'll just get out of here. What? Oh. <laughs> oh, did you see that? Oh, yeah! Attention, shoppers. The cheese ain't free. <laughs> Sam, are you dead? Too early to tell. No one steals from Bosco. An honest but excruciatingly painful mistake. There we go. Hey, Bosco. What can I do for you? About the Munchkin terrorism. Yeah, what about it? All right, no, there's nothing new for you. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. <laughs> so, what do you want to buy? What have you got? Well, I I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese. I want that. And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. Oh. But also, Max, why do you need cheese? You already got a bunch of cheese at home. They have bullets shot through them, but, like, still. <laughs> Gun free, but my rights. <laughs> what have you got? Well, I I've still got that big... Oh, yeah. And... I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. <laughs> oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh yeah, I really want that. It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guarantee. I feel really close to you right now. Give us the tear gas. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be ten thousand dollars. Bruh. Ten thousand bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Well, one <laughs> really big one. You mean? White collar crime drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good too. Okay, Mac, we want this cheese. Okay, standard cheese background check. I'll need to see at least six forms of ID, a valid federal cheese license, a completed organ donor card, a written release signed in the presence of a notary public, and your school report cards from the 9th through 12th grades. That's pretty inconvenient. It's okay, Sam. I can be brave. We'll just have to struggle cheeselessly onward. Again, you, you got your fake Swiss cheese at home, Max. I think you'll be good. You know, I have too much cheese. Yeah, fair, fair, fair enough. Oh, I love these. Hold on. Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. <laughs> Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? <laughs> Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. But I won't. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? Uh, nice security measures. What's with the maximum security prison motif? You've been robbed as many times as I have. You do the same. I've never been robbed, actually, but then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You crack me up, little buddy. How do you get out of that cage, anyway? Uh, that's for me to know, and you never to find out. Bosco's Inconvenience. Nice name. It's true. It really is inconvenient. Well, thanks. I try. The Swiss cheese full of lead, yep. What were we talking about? See you later, Bosco. Remember, we never had this conversation. 
What conversation? The conversation we just had. No, see, he was just acting like he'd already forgotten the conversation. What conversation? Oh, brother. Mm. No thanks. I brought my lunch today. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for Ocular Fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh good, I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs. Hmm. Again, not a cult. <laughs> Imagine it's just the eye toy for PlayStation. <laughs> Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. Hmm. Nachos. They're mine, nachos. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. And Sunny D. As vaguely referred to on TV. Buy nachos. Free toilet brush with every purchase. Free toilet brush? I'm sold! Used toilet brush. Yeah. I'll pass. Sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. This week's flavors wheatgrass and meatloaf. Oh my god. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Max is gay, everyone. He just confirmed it. He just confirmed it. Didn't even know that line of dialogue existed. Max is gay, everyone. Does the Munchkin have super speed? Ah, uh, yes, yes, he does. Public restrooms, unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. Good. Should have wash your hands, please. Oh, he has a rabbit on there. Uh oh. Time out for number one. Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. All right, now there is something we can do here, but we're not gonna do it yet. I wanna, I wanna actually talk to the character first. Hey, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Children preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. Max is gender fluid and bi. Ah! Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think if there's any women he floats with across the series. Max does not care about the concept of gender. Yeah, he he probably doesn't. Max is Max. Fair enough. Once in a comic. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. At the very least, Sam's gay. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. I hate this kid. Kid again, they're probably like they're in their like 40s or 50s. What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos, take one, they're free. Are you aware that you're breaking the law? <laughs> Come on, guys, there's no law against giving away free stuff. Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos. Boy, what a monotonoid. Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. Put your hands on your head. You're under arrest. <laughs> Aw, come on. It's a free country. <laughs> Don't whoa, use that whoa, excuse. Whoa. Who told you that? <laughs> this guy's suffering from some pretty severe delusions. Oh my god. <laughs> Why 
why they're in the soda, uh, soda joke outfits after all these years. Um, because it's all they have. It, it's literally all they have. They they have to be in these outfits just just for the just for the sake of like someone, anyone, like anyone in their fifties or sixties, just recognizing them and being like, oh, it's the soda poppers. Moving on. Oh God. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. Do you find it hilarious that the second something uh, enters the public domain, people's first thought uh, is horror movie? Yeah, it's lazy. It, it's really lazy. I mean, we can have some nice horror stuff involving Winnie the Pooh and uh, and Mickey Mouse. Probably not Winnie the Pooh. Leave horror out of that uh, that precious child's name. But. Uh, you can probably have a good Mickey Mouse horror. You just gotta be creative about it. Like, maybe Mickey is the main character, and, like, he's, you know, and he's going into a haunted mansion, and, like, you know, and it's all spooks and ghouls and stuff. Like, you know, something like, uh... Uh... Belina Productions has a, has a series similar to that, actually. Uh... For, for the Sonic series, that is. So, you know, you can have something like that. But no, it's always, Oh my god, it's, uh, it's Winnie the Pooh. And he does the murder, and it's like, shut up. <laughs> Can't wait uh, when, like, 90 years from, from now, we get a uh, Paw Patrol slasher film. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Speaking of cartoon characters, uh, how do you feel about Pinky Mouse going into the pub public domain, and now we are getting horror movies? I mean, again, horror movies, like. You can do horror movies, but again, just be fucking creative about it. Don't be fucking lazy with it. And all these horror things just the, the same. Um, but, you know, Mickey Mouse going into the public domain, that's, you know, long time coming. It should have happened years and years ago, so I'm, I'm glad it's finally happened. I just wish that so many people weren't lazy in terms of the stuff they want to make with them. <laughs> what can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Hmm. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. hmm. All right, one moment. Just got a, just got a message. Alright, we're back. Oh, and Tifa's calling. Hey, Tifa. Hello. Bonnie. Hey, how's it going? Bonnie. Sorry, are you saying funny? Bonnie. Bonnie? What, what do you mean, Bonnie? 
Bonnie. Bonnie? Bonnie? Like Bonnie, the the, 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 the FNAF character, or Bonnie, like a skeleton? Bonnie. <laughs> How's it going? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Slow day at work. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. I saw that you were playing the bunny. The bo Oh, bunny. Okay. <laughs> Let me I'm making a joke. Mm -hmm. Let me share the bunny with you. Let me share screens. <laughs> <laughs> bunny, I just saw yes. that fruity, fruity groovy got the reference when I was yeah. saying the bunny. Mm hmm. Say hi to Tifa, chat. <laughs> Hello. Are we getting a Peter Pan horror film? Fucking hell. <laughs> Isn't Peter Pan already a horror genre, if you really <laughs> think about it? <laughs> I mean, yes. Ever everyone likes to make that joke. Oh like, my... Oh my god. P is, is this legit? Peter Pan's Neverland Nightmare? Are you fucking kidding me? Just ignore them. Just ignore those, like, pathetic, like, horror mm -hmm. games slash movies slash whatever they're coming up with because they just want shock value, and I'm like, ugh, it's boring. Yeah. God, it's bad. Like, Epic Mickey was trending on Twitter the other day, and I was like, please, yes, just, just, just fix now that, Epic that's, Mickey 2. Th that, that, now, Epic Mickey is a fun, like, spooky aesthetic Mickey Mouse game. That game fucking rocks. I played the first one, I loved it, and then I played the second one, and I was so disappointed. I didn't even I, technically finish it. I hear the second game's pretty pretty mixed, yeah. Not to mention, it's a musical, and they added voice acting when the first game was more... Uh, you know, the, just make, them, make the characters do noises just because it was inspired by Zelda. So mm -hmm. it's like, yeah. Yeah. Who's Brady Culture? Well, that's nice. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady hey. Culture is a genius, and his eyeball program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you they know he was the star of Culture's <laughs> Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. Well, that's nice. What is? Hmm. Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on, you don't have to make a federal case out of it. No, we don't have to. We want to. <laughs> Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on. All right, no. same dialogue. All right. Uh, I think Mickey 1 was fantastic. It was pretty fucking good. I, I never beat it, unfortunately. I only uh, played about like... Uh, I only played about like a few hours of it, but it was, it was really fun from what I played. I remember trying to 100% it, but this was before the time of, like, trophies and such, mm. and achievements, so I think I did 100% it, because I did find, like, all of the pins, all of the, like, uh, back, like, eh, what's the word? Behind-the-scenes sketches that you can find in the game, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and yes, it did have, like, something close to a new game plus, so you can get all of the pins. Mm-hmm. My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey, kids. Guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Match your unbridled <laughs> cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Are you anything like the character you played on the TV show? Yeah. Like, do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write, To Max, thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. Oh, oh no. God. Oh, no. Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three! Oh, God. <laughs> this fucking it's character is, is nauseating. Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks, but I can't sing it. 
<laughs> I'm too embarrassed. Nah, you're gonna do it. Come on, sing the soda popper theme song. No, I don't think so. What'll it take to get you to sing that song? We'll be your best friends. No. <laughs> Are you sure you won't sing the soda popper song? I won't gnaw your leg off if you do it. No. Come on, sing the soda popper song. <laughs> Pretty please. No. <laughs> Come on, sing the soda popper song. He just says the Ugly same please. No sound. No. <laughs> just say one. Please. Sing the soda popper song. I promise not to sing along. No. <laughs> Come on, sing the soda popper song. <laughs> no. Come on, sing the soda popper song. Well, okay. Oh, he finally caves. <laughs> Little Peeper, Specs, and Whizzer toiling up the soda works, guzzling with tiny gizzards. Soda fountain special perks. Then they run like human blizzards. More than simple soda jerks. Soda poppers more than jerks. Yeah, you should wow, be embarrassed on mine. Clam chattery inside. Sing that song again. No. <laughs> well, that's nice. What is? Oh, I got a message one moment. Oh my god, what Tifa, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I just put Sam Max on the go on the on the Discord like gif thingy and that appeared and I'm like, oh god. And what I had to share. I got, I'm putting this on screen. What the hell is this? Hold on, let me Lucky Lucky Lucky. I wish I was joking. <laughs> Hold on. Let me browse this. So. Good. Yeah, like, what the? This is what Tifa said. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what in the actual crap? <laughs> I wish I was joking. I found it. I don't know how. Oh god, I'm getting that off screen, hold on. <laughs> this is, that's actually cursed. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> How does that come up if you search up Sam and Max? What the shit? Oh, I just put Sam space Max. That's ah, it. okay. Get it off, don't worry, it's off. I'm never putting that on screen again. If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one, no. thanks. Hmm. All right. Ooh, Fine cuisine with a K, wow. Hmm. All right, so now this is how we get rid of him. Uh-oh. Time out for number one. All right. So, uh... There's nothing stopping him from going in and out the store because he's, you know, not bringing in bosses. <laughs> give them the gift of cheese. Oh, I just can't wait to see the look on his but face when he gets it. But why you just him? I know. What the? Time out for number one. There we, we go. Saved. That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> Oh, he wet his widow pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Classic. Just classic. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. Mwahahaha. Uh, it's still not quite right. Uh. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh. Yeah, I, I, I think we're just gonna leave him there. I'm gonna just step around that. And there we go. Okie dokie. So, all we really have to go off now is the videotape. But before we do that, let's go and pay a visit to the other store. Well, not really store, but the other locale that uh, that is right next to Sam and Max's apartment. Or... Of office building, not apartment. Uh, this is Sybil, uh, or Sybils, uh, run by Sybil. So, uh, she, as you can tell from, uh, from 
her job description here. She used to do piercings, used to do tattoos, now she's into psychotherapy. Uh, it's a running joke with Sybil across the series that she's always doing a different line of work. She's always slight, she always ends up flunking out of, uh, all, like, the previous job she's had. Welcome! You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you- Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Me? Right, you're, uh... Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about! My name is Civil Pandemic! Licensed psychotherapist! Oh, oh no, a plagiarist! <laughs> Oh, I, I mean, I guess identity theft would be more, uh, would be more, mm -hmm. uh, ac accurate than, uh, than plagiarism, yeah. but still. Plagiarism is what we had with Chinchilla and Louie. Check the can, uh, the candy dispenser. Oh, thank you for reminding me. We'll go back there later. Yeah. Psychoanalyze me. How about a little analysis? Certainly. Tell me what's bothering you. <laughs> the 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 the, the car of frisky than usual. Black says well tattoo then, for you. You might try <laughs> Brady Culture's Ibo video. That'll put a spring in your step. Your eyes too. Ibo? Yes, my runny poached egg like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it. What's Ibo exactly? Ibo. It's called Ibo. It's a system of ocular exercises. So you can do push-ups with your eyes? Sort of. Just watch the video. Who's this lady culture person? <laughs> Brady! Brady culture! He's only the most insightful and amazing man of the planet, that's all. It's not Sean Penn? Not anymore. <laughs> I'm so disillusioned. This ve very 2000s game. Have you got a copy of this cockamamie video? I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco's. Enough said. Are you sure your name is Sybil, not Peepers? Absolutely! Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist, that's me! He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer. Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, Max, you have no right to, uh, to complain about someone being psychotic. Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? Could we see your driver's license or some sort of ID, Sybil? My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm civil pandemic licensed psychotherapist. Right. All right. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure. All right, done talking. Gonna shoot you now. I can see you. Whoa, where'd he go? Hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? <laughs> How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Alright, let's put the gun away. Alright, I gotta remember how we get rid of this dude. <laughs> That's never gonna get old! Hey, Max. Max, come here. Max. 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 Max, get in my way. That looks comfortable. Oh, it is. How would you know? You don't have a tattoo. Don't I? Hmm. So how have you been, Tifa? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Honestly, today, mood. Today, yeah, today I, like, I got a little bit of inspiration and wrote up a script of, like, oh, these are the games I played throughout 2023. They're not much because I play mostly Genshin, so anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. At 650 something hours on Genshin, Jesus. Christ. It's getting late. Hey mm -hmm. Sam, if it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. Thank God! I've been 
locked in that closet so long, I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh my god, he's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! <laughs> but he's my I pal. thought psychotherapists didn't use words like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? <laughs> the psychotherapist's handbook or the lunatic's handbook? There's a difference? Oh my god! <laughs> Psycho psychoanalysts are being called out. Jesus, but yeah, that, that that just gives you a, a good idea of like how Sybil is. She keeps going job to job. But he's my pal. You were friends with that overgrown sociopathic child. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant this overgrown sociopathic child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the charge? Assault, kidnapping, identity theft. Those are good charges. Some of my favorites. And what about mopery? He locked me in the closet, and he's been pretending he's me. Gadzooks, why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference, or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although, actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. Hmm. Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. No. Are there steps we can take? Soothing music or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock them unconscious! Now you're talking! I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! Whack him, whack him, whack him, whack him, whack him. We, do, whack him. we do have a boxing glove here to use, so we'll probably be needing that. Whack him, whack him, whack him. <laughs> I like, I like Tevye in the, in the comments. Max is so cute. Of course, why do you think I'm hugging him in the, uh, in the, uh, whatchamacallit? In the artwork, yeah. In the whatchamacallit. In the whatchamacallit. <laughs> in the whatchamacallit. No, no, don't poke at your freaking, uh, your belly button, no. Max. This guy's fast, and he's got good eyes, so I doubt I can sneak up on him. Take out his eyes, then. Thanks, you're a big help. <laughs> Remember that time you had therapy? Yeah, the court will never make that mistake again. Oops. <laughs> Be careful not to break anyone while we're here. No promises. I wish I had my banjo right now. And I wish I had a five-gallon tub of orange marshmallow peanuts. That could be dangerous. Yeah. Yours too. Hmm. I Let's look around. Great idea. Adam West Robin would be uh, Joel's of Sam's l uh, long explanations. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it's based on. So I want a Max Plushie. A Max Plushie would be awesome. I, I would definitely like a uh, a Max Plushie. I would never want to hug uh, Max. Uh, uh, feel he... Uh, he may put a knife in my side. Uh, probably. But I'm willing to take that risk. <laughs> I'll see what else is in this closet. No, no, uh, Sam, I want to look in there. There be a cow. There is a cow. Impressive credentials. Thank you! Hey, those are mine. I'm Symbol Pandemic. Oh, of course you are, dear. Of course! Hmm. Just whack him in the head. Very reassuring. Alright, let's give let's give you this punch, uh, this boxing glove. I can see you. Alright. Please stop doing that. Alright, we're gonna need to distract him somehow. It's <laughs> Don't eat the bunny. We I love how Sam always just yeets the bunny. It's so skin funny. Art. Is that art for skin or art made from skin? Your ideas are effervescent pustules, Max. Sparkly and disgusting. I think those might be iron-ons. 
Convenient and painful. A surefire hit with the average consumer. Can I play with that? No. He drives people crazy. Ooh. Me. Hmm. Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vinyl. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. <laughs> ah, the cheeky. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. <laughs> Alright, how are we gonna get... Because I, 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 I do remember we gotta, we gotta use the, the boxing glove to, uh, to knock him out, I'm pretty sure. But, like... Yeah, we're gonna need him to, like... Do something. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. What can you tell me about this Ibo videotape thing? Oh, it's marbles! Changed my life! You should watch it as soon as you possibly can! Hey, Sybil. Hello! Uh, I meant the other Sybil. So, you guys gonna take care of this imposter, or what? I think there may be other victims of hypnosis besides yours, lurking around the neighborhood. Well, see if you can knock them unconscious as well. Oh boy! More gratuitous violence! <laughs> what happened to your tattoo business? Don't tell me they actually enforce those health code violations. No, no, of course they don't. But a guy came in here and asked me to put a ship on his chest, and I misheard him, and, well, I decided to hang it up after Oh, that. no. <laughs> she, she put a giant turd on his chest. Jesus. Uh, who's messaging? Ah, oh, it's Rosen. Okie dokie. Punch him. Use the boxing glove. Yeah, well, I'm trying. He's moving out the way. Max, hit me again. I like it. I've seen that gif. It's funny. You're right across the street from us, and I don't think I've ever been in here before today. Your friend has. He's always trying to con me into giving him some kind of weird tattoo for free. You could put a line on my head and some eyes on my butt, and I'd look like I was upside down. For the last time, no. <laughs> The sign outside says you're open 24 hours. Isn't that a bit odd for a psychotherapist? Well, in my crowd, a lot of people think they're vampires. Hmm. What would you say to taking a look under the old hood and analyzing my psychoses? Tell you what, I'll give you a free session if you'll take care of this nut job for me. I heard that. I think we need to discuss your feelings of hostility. Quickly. My head is leaking like a cheesecloth canoe. I'm ashamed to say I forgot what you told us to do. Just knock this guy unconscious. I know, but like any clue as to how we do that? Excuse us, we've got work to do. I'll say. Maybe you need something from somewhere else. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Okay, okay, let's, let's go check some of the places. Relax, I am pretty relaxed, game. All right, let's get into the car. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! I do remember this being a, a little bit of a mini game here. By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Hmm. Already planning on it, little buddy. This is your first and final warning. Pull over or die. <laughs> By chance, have you talked with the guy that was Hello. spray painting outside We're of Bosco's? freelance police. And you are not. Ergo, we call the shots around here. I'll turn in a second. Oh, why did you stop me? Uh, yes, yeah, so we have. Uh, I did end up talking to the guy outside of Bo Bosco's, but th we gotta uh, get rid of him in another way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's related. We'll probably go back and chat to him again as well. 
According to our homemade radar gun, you were just exceeding the speed of light. That's not physically possible. Oh, would you like me to demonstrate what's physically possible? Well, considering you didn't actually commit the crime we're accusing you of, I suppose we'll just let you off with a warning this time. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm, no one seems to be breaking the law today. I know! What's the problem? Start committing some crimes, you sick bunch of reprobates! Take the wheel, little buddy. With right. pleasure! Alright, what are we shooting at? What are we shooting at? No. Yo! Shooting at the car! Please accept my condolences for your taillight. <laughs> Sam 1, tail light 0. <laughs> I could do this all day. Please accept my condolences for your tail light. It's just exists like it's just shoot Sam people. Sam 1, tail light 0. What else is there to shoot? Oh, you can also shoot the post on the side, I see. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's pretty fun. Just things are ricocheting up on the sidewalk. Alright. Attention fellow drivers. If for any reason we need to address you, we'll indicate it simply by crashing into the back of your vehicle. Thank you. <laughs> Pull over or we'll be forced to destroy your car and its occupants, if any. <laughs> Is the gun have unlimited ammo? Yes. If you were planning to bribe us, now would be the appropriate time. What's the charge? Hmm. Ah, okay. Hold on. All right, let's go for a, a funny answer now. But I think I, I think I know what I'm gonna do next time. One sec. We're booking your sorry hide for indecent exposure. What are you talking about? I'm fully clothed. Except your face. Get a veil, please. Let's go, Max. <laughs> Having that face is punishment enough. <laughs> so punishing that uh, we don't even get to see it. All right. Here's what I'm thinking. All right, let's get... Oh, okay, no, there's not enough time, shit. Alright, next car after this, let's try. I could do this all day. No, come on, Sam! Please accept my Come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah oh, you fuckers! Sam 1, tail light 0. Alright. Pull over! Don't worry, we just want to talk. <laughs> talk. Hello, sir, or madam. You're in big trouble, mister, or miss. For what? Your tail light's busted. Well, you're the ones who broke it! <laughs> Your point being. Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? What? Are you crazy? Oh, uh, one moment. Allow me to confer with my legal counsel. Oh, my. Oh, no, he actually has a legal counsel. My attorney counsel. has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some accounting to do. Yo, money! Thanks, sucker! We got money! One money, and I know what you can do with that money. You know what I could do with the money. Oh, do you have a guide open? Yes. Yeah. Also, you sound a little quieter now. Ah, it's because I was away from the money. Okay, there we go. Okie dokie. Uh, it's good that you have the, the guide on standby because while I do prefer to uh, try and figure things out myself, it is good to just have it on standby just in case uh, we do need it later down the line. 
when I was younger, whenever I played games, uh, I would always tend to forget that, hey, online guides exist because you no longer have to buy like 30 or $40 walkthroughs on mm -hmm. like stores and such. Uh, and so sometimes I would forget and I would either like, oh, put down the game for like a week and then pick it up again because I would get stuck in a level or because I didn't know what, what else to do. But sometimes I would just be like so frustrated and just like overall leave the game together. Leave the game altogether, sorry. Yeah. Alright, let's try shooting this guy. Uh, Caffeine rush! Sweet no. carbonated beverages in a pig trough. He's gone. Who would have thought such tiny legs could move so fast? Wow. You made me mess up. Good. Alright, let's use the boxing glove on him. Caffeine rush. All right, I ain't gonna work. He always sees us coming. You made me mess up. All right, let's see if he reacts to the money. If I pay you, will you quit defacing my neighborhood and go away? <laughs> no, no, I, I really gotta finish it. Oh, um, I'm gonna dip out for a little bit. I'm gonna have a uh, dinner with the folks. Okay, uh, but you'll be back. Yes. Okay, dokie. Uh, talk to you. Uh, talk to you soon. Have a, have some nice yes. dinner. Yes, all the Indians. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Ah, still on call. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay. Just open OBS. Okay. T will be back. Ah. It takes me back to my childhood. I see a van. Hmm. You're not gonna let me do anything with the van? Come on! Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. It's almost 4, uh, 4 a.m., so I may pass out before she returns. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough, Lilith. Okay, so we have the two individual, uh, individual guys. I think I may know how to get rid of him, but... Hmm. Oh! Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I remember. Hold on. Your tear gas money right here. Really? Well, all right. Here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. Hmm. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Now put that away before someone gets hurt. What do you mean? Nah. You're just gonna hold on that. The ten thousand just cover the cost of materials, you know. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. I don't want to wake him up. I'm sure you don't. All I know about Boston Baked Bees is the podcast uh, I watch made uh, cryptid out of them. What? <laughs> Sorry, what did the conversation get onto? Quit it, brain freeze. Looks like this stuff doesn't work on people who wear glasses. Ah, okay. So we're gonna need him on a. We're gonna need it for a for Sybil. Gotcha. Oh, whoops. Let's see what else is in here. On this week's edition of Oh, Is He Still Alive? We <laughs> meet the stars of the 1970s television hit, The Soda Poppers. 
I love shows that destroy all our cherished delusions about the stars we once loved. During the soda poppers' heyday, young Spex was the role model for obsessive neat freaks all over the globe. Ticker tape free, ticker tape parades were thrown in honor of the soda popper who never missed a spot. Backstage, though, things were quite a bit dirtier. Spex's obsession with perfection caused massive delays in shooting and infuriated co workers. He famously demanded over 11,000 retakes of the line, You made me mess up! Jeez. Made all the more annoying because of his tendency to repeat the line immediately after reading it. Following the show, Spex was rarely seen in public, although he did make one ill fated venture into celebrity tag team mud wrestling, getting pinned in a record three seconds as he desperately I don't tried to wipe see down that the God. ring with a dish rag. The meltdown utterly enraged his tag team partner and good friend, the dog from My Mother the Dog, who stormed out of the arena without a word. They haven't spoken since. Coming up next, the soda popper who couldn't always keep it in. That's nice. 20 years worth of electric belts take up a surprising amount of space. Ooh, hold on. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. Ah, uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, okay, no, I, I know how to get past this. Yep, 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 yep. I know what to do here. I know what to do here. Was the game ahead of its time? Uh, it was both ahead of its time and also very, uh, very of its era as well. It's all coming together. Yes, it is. With that said, I will be back in about five minutes, uh, but I will make sure there is music in the background so you guys aren't just bored with silence. I will be right back, though.
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry that was a little bit of a longer uh, break than I intended, but we are back. Okie dokie. So, I'm thinking that we have to vandalize this graffiti somehow. Uh, how we do that, I don't know. <laughs> I'd rather punch other things. Hmm. I wonder if... Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories. Hmm. Alright. It's never not gonna get a laugh out of me. Alright, we gotta vandalize it some way, some way. How do we do that? Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry! Hmm. Again, are you actually gonna like hmm. go in and go in there? Hmm. Hello. Can you shoot uh, shoot the can on the road? Uh what can? Let's get cracking. Yeah. Whee! Oh, I just the actual cans, okay. Can dispenser. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. Hmm. Hello. Oh, outside your office building. Hold on. Alright, no, I can't do that. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I see it. I see it. There we go. Hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. This could use a little improvement. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You messed it up! Oh, now I've gotta fix it, brain freeze. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's, uh, let's commit a murder. <laughs> Let us commit a murder. Can you believe we get paid for this? <laughs> I love this country. <laughs> you made me mess up. <laughs> now this is quality television. Except, hold on, 
My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> better, better. Well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Okie dokie. So that takes care of two of them. So we only got one more left. So let us go. Hey, Sybil. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh, Sybil? Yes? Uh, the other Sybil. What is that? Don't worry. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but it will make you cry. <laughs> I can see. Oh, okay, so you just Whoa, can't, he go? can't just shoot him, okay. There he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? <laughs> just comes naturally, I okay. guess. Okay, I should I, I should have just stuck with the boxing glove. I knew that I knew that wasn't gonna work, but I wanted to try it anyway. Oh Sybil. No! <laughs> <laughs> Please, Sam, allow me. Now, Peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. <laughs> Sweet dreams, peeps. I can see you. <laughs> oh, my, that was great. That was great. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say! <laughs> there you go, now you nice got it. Nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind! I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control! What? Hey! What am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil! It's Peepers! Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream. And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes! Brady Culture was there! He kept telling me to do stuff. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy. Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. Hmm. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can fix. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, she did say she'd give us a, a psycho... Uh, uh, um, she, she would psychoanalyze us, basically. I'll wait till Tifa's back with that one. Uh... Alright, let's, uh, let's get out of here for now. Remember that time you had therapy? Yeah, the court will never make that mistake again. Mm-hmm. Let's look around. Great idea. Or I could smack you. <laughs> Okie dokie. Actually, while we're here, let's, uh, let's go to the... Let's go to the office. Let's check out that uh, that VHS tape. Okay, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, hmm. before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. 
you may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. <clears throat> what you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines. You love me. You adore me. Not with that afro, I fucking ain't. You name all your children after me. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, oh, and, he, and he's a rat, so he's gonna have a lot that of children. Hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. Hmm. Then you're just getting addicted to hitting the bunny. Look, I, I love it when the bunny flies, okay? I just want to laugh at the bunny, okay? I want to laugh at the bunny. Let me, let me laugh at the bunny, please. What was his plan? Basically just to hypnotize everyone. Basically just to get easily influenced, uh, inf easily influenced, uh, former stars to just, you know, do his bidding and then make other people do his bidding. I want to hug the bunny. I do too. I do too. <clears throat> uh, take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby! Wh what's going on? Why is my outfit all wrinkled? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227 something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the driving. Can you take us there? Hmm. Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. Hmm. Well, that was helpful. All right, let's go to Wizard. Let's check out the van. Hmm. I, always with the hmm. Investigate the van, Sam. Investigate the van. What kind of fucking cop are you? Hello. Is the kid still there? Boy, the security system in here is something else. I'll say. I'm glad I don't have pockets. Bosco's got a lot of interesting, if questionable, products in here. I think it's the only store in town where they carry those albino monkey crackers I got hooked on in Borneo. I'll let you get back to your shopping, or whatever it was you were doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask. All right, now get out of my way. <laughs> Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police! Oh no! Oh He's my... getting away in that truck! Oh Quick. my god. Oh, that soda popper. Hurry, Sam! He's getting away! Do we have to avoid what? these or keep oh. running into them? Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure! Oh. I love the vocal theme. Ah! Alright, getting close. Getting close. Getting close. Got him. Yes! Don't shoot! Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? <laughs> Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just... 
You always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. Hmm. Thanks. Um, does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? Where are we this? going, Sam? Back to the office. Yeah, I do wanna, I do wanna get psychoanalyzed by, uh, by Sybil before we keep going any further, because I believe this is like basically gonna close out the, uh, the episode. Did you miss the candy dispenser, or did I miss that? Um, with the candy dispenser, do you mean the uh? The one outside of Bosco's, because, like, the one with beef inside of it. Or are you thinking of a. Or are you talking about another cane dispenser? Yep. Yeah, we did that. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. Hmm, okay, so I, I assume he's just gonna have something different in there uh, each, each time. Let's get a sip. Hey, you're fogging my glasses. Quit it. <laughs> Actually, I kind of want to try that on Bosco now. Hold on. <laughs> it's a lot. I, I know it's a lot of running back and forth, but I kind of want to. Whoops. Uh, I kind of want to just do that on Bosco now. Hold on. <laughs> Cause he's not wearing glasses. Wait, no, you can't. Actually, no, 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 no. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. No point, no point, no point. No point in doing that because uh, the uh, the security will will click in. Yeah, but uh, welcome back, Pixel. Uh, we we beat the crap out of three former child stars, <laughs> uh, and we are fast approaching the end of the game. Uh, but. First, let's get psychoanalyzed. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You <laughs> baffle me sometimes, Max. That looks comfortable. Oh, it is. How would you know? You don't have a tattoo. Don't I? <laughs> hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Is it hard to become a psychotherapist? Oh, yes. It takes weeks. For some people, it's harder not to become one. Bless your overgrown cassava melon, Max. Nice decor you've got in here. Very death metal suburban lounge kitsch postmodern <laughs> professional. Well, you know, last week this was a tattoo parlor, and before that I was a taxidermy priestess. When I'm gone, I'm hoping to be taxidermied and used as a hat rack. You'll do that for me, won't you, Sam? Of course, little buddy. Friendship is a wonderful <laughs> gift. Hold all my calls. <laughs> Hold on. Talk at you later, Doc. In I thought I should say piercing outside. I did. Maybe I misread that. Maybe I misread priestess for. Pier yeah. Okay. Hold on. Pierce. No, no, it says piercings. Okay. Death Note reference. <laughs> Yay, assault. Yes, assault. <laughs> hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Sounds like you've jogged around several blocks, career-wise. True. I was even a telemarketer for a while. What did you sell? Telephones. But sometimes a brilliant idea <laughs> just isn't enough. What other unsavory gems are lurking in your sack full of former careers? I was a cook at a restaurant called Ode O. Very strict vegan. We only served water. That's it? Well, you could get it cold or hot. Staggering. I liked that job, but I got laid off when the thermo-vegetarians picketed the restaurant and insisted they only serve the water at room temperature. Typical. I can't stand thermo-vegetarians. Have you had any other fascinating occupations we could snicker about? I was a grout specialist. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. There's just something inherently funny about grout. <laughs> 
Have you had any other fascinating occupations? I used to be a microfiche delivery driver. What a coincidence! You too? What? No, I was just thinking about how my feet are exactly the same size as each other. <laughs> she has a lot of jobs. Yeah, it's her whole character. She just keeps, she keeps trying to find, like, she basically keeps changing jobs, like, the moment things become too difficult. Have you had any other fascinating occupations? I painted white walls on cheap tires for a while. Have you had any other fascinating occupations? I ran a business doing custom embossing on the bottoms of pie tins. Have you had any other fascinating occupations? I was a door-to-door -door phlebotomist. That sounds dirty, even though it probably isn't. Have you had any other fascinating occupations? Dozens. Have you had any other fascinating occupations? Dozens. Okay, that's the end of it. All right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let me just check something real quick. Okay, okay. Just messaging someone. <laughs> How many do jobs does she have? I'm pretty sure there's a joke in the, uh, there's a joke in season three where, uh, where she re, where she reemerges because she's not in season three very much, but, uh, there's a joke where basically like she pops up and the title card comes up and, and like uh it's like oh professional psychoanalyst and then another job comes up and bam 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 and there's like a whole lot of jobs just all piling on top of each other and like filling the screen. It's really funny. Yay, assault. I mean that's what Sam and Max are all about. <laughs> it's just absolute assault. Oh I'm getting a message. How do you like to shrink my head a little, Doc? Of course. What's your poison? Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots. We could try some free association. I could interpret your dreams for you. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions or... Obsessions. <laughs> Take a look at this and tell me what you see. What do you see, guys? I thought that said penises for a second. Uh, okay, well, without even reading the options, uh, that looks like Dr. Octopus from Spider Man, sort of. Uh, pennies uh, on the eyes of a dead mime. What? What? A pair of oxen boxing, uh, in a, in a rowboat. Uh, Susan Lucci holding an, en an Emmy. Uh, the results of the last time I met Max, of the last time I let Max drive. The results of the last time I let Max drive. All right. Now, how about this one? Should be crashing in it. St. Valentine's Day ma Massacre. The St. Valentine's Day Massacre. And this? Rorschach. Yes, that is very much what this is. <laughs> Autograph written in, an autograph written in braille. A squirrel that got run over twice. Now this one. What do you see? Kind of looks like two sharks just kind of, or two dolphins at the very least, like mating. <laughs> Mm. 
Twenty nuns with machine guns out for vengeance. And this one? Hmm. Kind of... Sort of looks like the macro from, from Doctor Who. That blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. You seem fairly focused on violence, <laughs> but it's probably nothing to worry about. Thanks, Doc. Are you sure about that? Can we do some more ink blots? Those oh, are entertaining. Oh, oh, never mind. Never sure. mind. Never mind. Let's take another. Take a. Let's just do the same answer so that we can get. Uh, because I'll, I'll probably do um. I'll probably do I'll probably do this again when Tifa's here, just so she can have a look at some of these. The results of the last. All right. Let's just now. do the same. Let's just do the same thing, just to keep that for later. And this. Uh. A squirrel. Now, that is a frago. Ooh, hello. There you are. That is that is Taruk. That is Taruk. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do this again then, because uh, she's psychoanalyzing us right now. Then. You but it's thanks, Doc. All right, let's 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 go back to the uh, the ink blots. How was your dinner, by the way? It was nice. We also had some Ferrero Rocher. Nice, 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 nice. I love Ferrero Rocher. That's the the, the chocolate, right? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love I love those little balls. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive my brain. All good, all yeah. good. Okay, okay. Also, make sure to get a little closer to the mic. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's do ink. Let's do some Can more we ink do blots. Some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. What do you see, Tifa? It, uh, Mothman, but he's asking for a hug. <laughs> I, I, I said uh, Dr. Octopus. He looks like Mothman. Mm -hmm. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Interesting. Now, how about this one? There's uh, two... two old ladies that are smoking, preparing for a duel. I was going to say two old ladies making out. <laughs> Pigeons on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. And this? That looks like a frago. Kind of does, doesn't it? Coded love notes from space aliens. Alien love notes. Interesting. <laughs> now this one. What do you see? I said For this one, I said two dolphins just mating. Sure. <laughs> Sorry, what? I have chocolate. You have chocolate? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have chocolate. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what do you see? No. Taruk? Ah, okay. Gotcha. The from how to how to train your dragon. <laughs> no, it's from Avatar. It's from Avatar. Oh, oh, I didn't see the blue people because the my second monitor is dark. <laughs> it's been Asian since I've seen Avatar. Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. And this one. Uh. Freddy Fazbear with cake? I kind of see that now, actually. <laughs> An orangutan trying to escape from the trunk of a DeSoto. You seem fairly focused on animals, but it's probably nothing to worry about. Thanks, Doc. Hmm. I mean, we are animals, to be fair. What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. 
I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Desert. Loneliness. Word Lone to the wise. Wolf. Never put your tongue on a cactus. Or vice versa. Trigger word causes strange culinary impulses. Possible organic malaise fixation. Now try this one. Crown. Power. Mm. You can take that as either positive or a negative. Ah, the tiki. Pulled over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Subject displays symptoms of ironic nostalgia complex. Comb. Hygiene. Whoa, no, don't shoot! Good. Violent reaction! Violent reaction! <laughs> you should see him at Thanksgiving. <laughs> hmm. Violent reaction to the word. <laughs> I love, I love well, just this pointing has the been gun at her. What's the verdict? I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. Anything to support small local businesses. We can always sell yes. organs on the black market to raise the cash. Just so they're not ours, little buddy. <laughs> can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Youch! Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. All right. My dreams all my dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. Not a thing was on TV. Suggesting you feel television is an intellectual wasteland, devoid of any and all worthwhile content. No, that can't be right. <laughs> I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? Max Bosco, you, me. God. How fucking... <laughs> it's psychotic to just say you, considering the fact that, like, we just met today. So I'm gonna say you. It was you. <laughs> me? My, my, my. Oh, I represent your mother. <laughs> you do? Of course. The feelings of trust, of safety. Besides, I figure the old hag's gotta be in there somewhere. That's psychotherapy 101. Insightful! <laughs> Tell me, in your dream, was I doing anything queer? Hey, you can't did say something pretty queer. You ungrateful pup! I went through three weeks of labor for you! Wow, it is your oh mother. My. What? <laughs> I was right, as I usually am. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, she was doing queer things, all right. She was having lesbian sex with someone. I don't know. Uh, what are the... Wait, what are the women characters? Oh, uh, Stinky. She's in the second game, though. Okay. Yes, her name's Stinky. <laughs> I saw Freddy as well. Yeah, I, I can't unsee that now, yeah. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was me. You? Hmm. I think you represent yourself. I didn't even realize that was possible. Oh, sure. Any crazy thing's possible in psychoanalysis. Tell me, did the other you say or do anything unexpected? No, the usual. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm fine, Sam. And yourself? Not too shabby. Fascinating. Where does your mind come up with this stuff? prepared to leap out of the window. Oh, was that the end of your dream? No, wait, I forgot something. Oh, do continue then. <laughs> I just like that nonchalantly, yeah, I prepared to leap out the window. I noticed something odd on the dartboard. Oh, something you're shooting for. What was your target? It was a psychotherapy diploma. Interesting. Do you secretly want to become a therapist? No, I publicly want to become a therapist. <laughs> oh, you kidder. Please, try to be serious. Hmm. 
I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? I don't know. Interesting. Nothing unusual there. Alright. Let's jump out the window. Was that the end of your dream? Hold up. Ah, TV muted again. Yep, then I woke I up screaming. Ah. I can see why. Ah. <laughs> Whoops. Actually, let's save the psychoanalysis for later. Hmm. Postponing responsibilities. Interesting. Hmm. There we go. Don't so keep saying interesting. You lose all, all meaning. <laughs> yeah, no, that, 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 that's simple in a nutshell. Basically, like, she... She's just saying interesting because, like, psychoanalysis is not going to stick with her for the time, like, for forever. Like, she's going to move on to something else within a week. <laughs> Where are we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we, no we knocked out the other, uh, child stars, and now we're on the our way. One the one from the spray paint or the one Bo from the store? Both. Oh, uh, well, we wiped. Uh, we punt. We knocked out all three of them. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Monkey. Monkey. Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. Psst. Locked. Knock, knock. Who's there? Gun. <laughs> the Beagles power of stolen. Ibo. Looks more like the glower of Ibo. Looks like a shifty character to me. Don't they all? Not much of a secret, is it? This one's very locked. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently, it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Forsooth. You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. Ah, hold on. Oh, I'm getting a message as well. One sec. Do, 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 do. So, what it say again? I don't think he's qualified to sign the form. All right, I know what we gotta do. We gotta go back to going, to do psychoanal uh psychoanalyzing, and we gotta get Sybil to sign it. Back to the office. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Sure, go ahead. Cow. All right. Meat. I feel strangely like punching something. Really? Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. How about this word? Drill. 
don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! <laughs> you should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Dryer. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. No. Tempting sometimes, but I become fond of the little guy. <laughs> Be careful where you wave that thing in my office. Oh, I'm always careful. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your reactions indicate that you're a generally violent person. I'm disturbed to hear that. Me too. I've always thought of you as a specifically violent person. Do hmm. you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to dentistry. All right, so... What in the room can Actually, we shoot for hmm. that? What in the room can we shoot for that? Ah, uh, I guess the... Sink, maybe? Hey, Tifa, you still got the guide up? Yeah, give me a second. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go to the, uh, the, just go to the, where it mentions the psychoanalyzing uh, an part. Ooh, okay, you did the ink bots, uh... Okay, okay, give a symptoms form to Sybil. Hey, Doc. Uh, hey, Sam. Remember the three symptoms that were mentioned earlier? Sybil wants to psychoanalyze you so she Talk can determine you if you have Doc. artificial personality disorder or not. Symptoms and obsession, These are three violent, and an unconscious desire to see one's peer. So hey, you Doc. Can... Hey, Sam. Oh, let me just do, go for to... Example, how do you like to... Of course. Let me just go to yeah. here. Okay, so which, which one do I do? You can, uh, if I'm understanding this correctly, you can do all three, but let's mm. go with uh, ink blots. All right. Can we do some? Sure. Take a look. Okay, which one do I do I go with? Okay, uh, if the first symptom mentioned was fame, use the following options. Suzanne Lucci, pigeons on the marquee, an autograph written in braille, a cheering crowd of lanky albinos, uh, and watching thing at flashbulb. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, uh, start from the beginning again, sorry? Susan Lucci. Okay, yep. Susan Luke. I see. Now, how about okay, this let's one? See. And the second one? Uh, let's see. Pigeons on the marquee. Pigeons on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. And this? Autograph uh, written in Braille. Mm -hmm. An autograph. Now this one. What do you see? Why did I hear a lion? No a idea. A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? That blotchy thing a flashbulb does to your that eyes. That blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. Well, your choices indicate an obsession with fame. There we go. Uh -huh. That's one fame. of the indicators of artificial personality disorder. I'd better make a note on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. There Whatever we go. Whatever you say, Sawbones. Yep. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. All right, and okay, then... Free Let's try some more free association. Mm -hmm. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Fire away, Grizzly. Lug nut. Hm. All right. Okay, let's see. Give me a second. Uh, okay, uh, I don't see lug nut anywhere. All right, I'm just gonna. Hmm. Let's see. If your second symptom is hairstyling, there's a big gun on Sybil when she mentions the following words that are connected to hairstyling. If the word she says isn't connected to hairstyling, simply talk to Sybil and choose any response. Can Maybe? I sit in the tattoo chair while we do this? Me first! Trigger word induces unusual desire for tattoo in subject. Possible symptom of euphoric dyspepsia. Fluoride. All right. Fluoride. I see no fluoride. So either. Whoa! Don't shoot. Maybe you should see him. All right. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to talk teasing. to. Teasing. Teasing. There's there's no teasing. Eucalyptus. Interesting. <laughs> 
Well, this has been... Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent oh, reaction okay. to okay. Okay, okay, okay. You if your second symptom is dentistry, you're a big gone on civil when she mentions the following words. Okay. artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark this on your chart. Okie dokie. I don't know how that all you had to uh, symptoms involve with uh, dentistry, but okay. I don't want to alarm me you, but probably. <laughs> Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. <laughs> Okay, unconscious as I I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. All right, let's examine your dist. All right, so what do I need to do in here? Okay, tell me. Okay, what I happened. heard from last time it was something with your mother, if I'm correct. Oh. Okay. Well, we did that before okay. as well, yeah. Yeah, I I, because that's what I had. Someone uh, else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It's you. It was you. Hmm. Or was it really your mother? Okay, I the third there symptom is to marry one's the mother perform the following oh, actions. Oh, who was your special guest? It was you. Mm. Okay, say the, the other room in the room really is you, so you're correct. Your mother. Click on the pink donut box on below the window. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, sounds like you and your special guest there were having a little celebration. What did you get? Wedding cake. It was a wedding cake, ripe mm. for the toppling. A wedding cake? <laughs> you want to marry her? Uh, well, let me just say, I hope you two will be oh. very happy to. Oh no! Uh, thanks. Oh no! The implication. Yes, walk, the implication. walk over to the black silhouette and say the other person in the room is you. That's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. I realized there was. Oh. It was you. Hmm. Or... Okay. So that's pretty much it. That's what it says here. Okie dokie. Then that, was should... that, the end of your that should be enough. Yep, that's it. Do you think I might <laughs> have an like... artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their subconscious desire to see their peers age. Hmm. Okay, right. the third symptom is to see like your to peer getting you older. Another... All right. Okay, yeah. I like Pixel Line okay, the, uh, in the comments. Uh, sweet home Alabama. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Don't do anything yet. Click I on the pink donut box and say that it's a birthday cake. Bakery. Okay. Oh. Birthday cake, okay. It was an overly front. Hmm. Okay, now walk over to the black silhouette and say that it's Max. I realized there were... Gotcha. Oh, it was Max. Ah, yes. Your imaginary friend. <laughs> Wait a second. The birthday cake, your friend, you subconsciously want to see your peers get older. I could have told you that. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Yeah, I think this is how yes, we should have done it I mean, earlier. <laughs> I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. No. And you got all three symptoms. Wow, Yay. it must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. <laughs> Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no. <laughs> all right. And you're good. Yep, that's Gucci. Uh, yeah, I again, I only want to use the guide when, like, you know, we want to basically just get a move on, or if I'm like really stuck, and uh, and yeah, we we are very close to the end of the uh, the case right now, so or the episode right now. So I really do think that that was a good use of the guide. Don't make raspberries at me. <laughs> Where are we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for former child. Why did you send me? Ah. Health <laughs> stars. Oh, okay. Give it to the monkey. Mm -hmm. Monkey. 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 
Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives, with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? Pulchritude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Lawn Cheney in a boffo fright wig. Brady Culture, I presume. You know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work. <laughs> Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The freelance police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me to explain. <coughs> Uh-oh. I think piano just figured is a that? soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no, those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles, they came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor down vigilantes mass hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever. <laughs> How cruel. Is it over? I think so. So, Whoops. since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture. No, my friends, in yours. Hey, that tickles. Become. Of course, Max video didn't get a. Delivery <laughs> Max man. didn't get the. He didn't get hypnotized. What? What's happening? Oh no! Oh no! What are you doing? I don't know. I. You were in on it all along. I told you it was a conspiracy. I told you, but then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA. Call Interpol. Call Mickey Rooney. Must deliver Mickey Rooney videos. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. He's Sam, I can't control him. Hey, no. my beloved weapons are gone. No, not the weapons. Oh, don't even try. <laughs> I love that part. And now we're in dreamland. Uh-oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax <laughs> Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become... Video delivery man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. <laughs> Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, I'll save you. I love how even when he's hypnotized, like Max is just just facilitates an entire block of of uh, of Sam's subconscious. Mm -hmm. That's true love right there. It's Brady culture in a light socket. The light bulb represents wisdom, and here's a little now. Brady culture is a perfect ten. It's just a dream, Sam. There we go. Aww. I will be number one in the ratings. Now, and thanks to Cable for all eternity. What is this thing? There we go. Sweet rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. 
Uh, okay, how do I pump him up and also have the door open? Come on, I... What? I will be universe... Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. <sighs> oh, no, no! No, no not the inflation! Not the inflation! No! <laughs> And another one bites the cheese. Alright. How do we get rid of the, the, the light bulb? Goldfish? Brady culture has a nice ring to it. Don't worry, little buddy. No. I'll get you. Hurry, Sam. I've got an itch. I can't scratch. No. Brady stole Max's body. Oh, and it feels good, too. I just love my new furry paws and cute little tail. Hey, don't touch my tail, you psychopathic body stealer. Ooh, just let me at him. Right, let's see if there's anything. Ooh. Oh, I have my gun. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? You gun. can't hmm. shoot me. I'm incandescent. Is that a fish outside? Yep, yep, it is. Oh, well, yes, it is. Sorry. <laughs> That's horrifying. It very much every is. Every single one of your children after me. His hair looks like a carpet, a peanut, or a sponge. It it looks disgusting, is what it does. Didn't hurt. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to use the gun for something. I don't want to pop him. <laughs> What else is here for us to interact with? It's Brady Culture on TV. Yes, right where I belong. Everyone watch me. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Shooting TV stars only makes them stronger. Right, can we just turn the TV off? Weird. Strange. Enigmatic. Queer. Odd. Interesting. It's just a dream, Sam. Hmm. I think I've done enough pumping for one dream. That's what she said. Oh, I'm sorry, that's what he said. Weird. Strange. Is that gonna come down? Is anything gonna happen with the gun here? Dance, puppet, dance. Enigmatic. Ah. Hold on, can I, can I use the, can I use the coat rack? Queer. I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car. <laughs> Jesus. No thanks. I have so many other things to shoot. Yeah, but none of them are working, Sam. <laughs> okay, I get it, you can't. Can't be shot. Gotcha. Uh, I may not show it. You try turning off the lights? Good thinking. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? No! <laughs> oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. Maybe you need the guy? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, gun the TV? Nah, it's not gonna work. Quick, change the I channel! I love my hair, and you do too. Alright, so that's the light bulb taken care of. We just need the TV and also the game back on, on Max's body. Odd. I know Interesting. Gonna, I have a feeling like I'm in, we're gonna need this hand. But how?
I will have legions of sickening breakfast cereal. What is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Whee! <laughs> that was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. Let's do it again, Sam. Hmm, okay. Now. Yay! <laughs> Okay, 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 that was okay, great. okay. But Sam, if you'll notice, I'm right back where I started. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. All right, can I get like that? Hold on. Can I move him somehow? Or oh, let's do this again. Whoa! Whee! <laughs> All right, now move here, move here, move here, move here, move here. Come on. Okay, okay, so how am I- Okay, so Yay! that's gonna be useful to- I'm right back where I started! Get by here. Okay, hold on, it. I'll think of something. Hmm. Do I have to catch it with something? Catch him with something, I should say? I am Brady Culture, and you are not. Get used- It's just a dream, Sam. Stolen Max's body. <laughs> Just let me at him. Weird. You will look, you will look, you will look. I'll get you. Uh -huh. Would you like some help? Uh, in a bit. I do know the one way sign's gonna get Max down, but like, I don't know how. What what fish. what else in, in yes fish indeed uh, I don't know what else Why, in addition yes, to that I need. This is my real hair. Hmm. By chance, have you found the switch? The sw okay. The switch I have uh, I know was to get rid of Brady, but like I don't know if that's going to be used for anything else. Brady culture, nice name for a country, hmm. don't you think? Well, if you want help with the guidance, just let me know. Okay, one sec. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, brother's home. No, one come back. Ah! <laughs> one second. No. Brady Culture is the man of your dreams. <laughs> Women want me. Men want to want me. Is that the fam? <laughs> Whoops, not that one. There we go. I heard you. Hey, I'm uh. getting pretty good at that. Yeah, I know. Well, you you heard you heard me, uh, Tifa, but the stream couldn't. I heard the family. Uh huh. Okay, so Let's turn the switch on I again. I will have a space. I wouldn't want to turn Brady back on. Ew! Don't want it like that. Ew. Okay, so the door's not going to be of use anymore. Strange. Shoot the smoke. So we only have the gun. Brady culture. More than just yeah, a shut up, Brady, please. <laughs> Alright. Bicycle pump's not gonna be useful anymore. That hand Say, Brady, needs to be used for something. Greatest? That hand needs to be for something, but I don't know what yet. Or how to get it down. It's Brady Culture on TV. It's Brady... Okay... Hey, shouldn't you be delivering videos?
Oh, the coat hanger. Wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity. It's very missable. Oh yes, that's much better reception. Okay, so that's taken care of him. Now we need to just take care of Max's body. How do I do that? Oh, You're out good of thinking, milk, by the way. Good thinking, Eliza. Good thinking. Wee. Wee. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Yay! Wee. I say we, and the bunny says we. <laughs> now let's go go to the inventory to select Max's head. <laughs> oh, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? No! <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. <laughs> no, come back. It was all oh, a dream. Uh. Oh no! He's awake! We're done for! Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter. That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy. Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture. I, Bo Man. Huh, stay away from here. He's got it in for me. Sorry, Bosco, no can do. I've got to save my furry little pal. I don't suppose you have a Bosco Tech device that stymies hypnosis-inducing energy beams. Oh, a, a hypnosis blocker? Yeah, I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something, quick. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. I. So we're gonna need something to block hypnosis. That won't help me rescue Max. You know who would have loved that? Max. <laughs> yeah, okay, way to guilt trip me. That's exactly the sort of thing Max would have looked at. That makes me miss Max for some unknown reason. Max, is that you? No, I'm starting to hallucinate. Max, are you in there? There's no time for that. I've got to rescue Max. That won't help me rescue Max. You know who would have loved that? Max. Max. That's exactly Sorry, the sort of the thing noise. Max would have looked at. Oh, good. It's like a screechy sound, but it's because I'm moving my, my uh, stand. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with JoJo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Van from here is gone. Oh, Stinkies is actually visible. Nice. That makes me miss Max for some unknown reason. Max, is that you? No, I'm starting to hallucinate. All right. Max, are you in there? There's no time for that. I've got to rescue Max. Maybe Sybil will know something. Yeah. Doc. Max is gone. Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. <laughs> no, that megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him. I see. Of course. Hang on. Were you implying that Max is imaginary? I wasn't implying anything, though he does seem a little improbable. You see him too, though, right? True, but then I'm a psychotherapist. Hmm. I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, 
It's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. Mm. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. It's <laughs> a huge violation of every reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course. But you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm. No. My lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields. All right, I we're gonna have to give this to Bosco. You are gonna have to find a new job now, Sybil. Uh, you did just make, break a major. You, you just committed a major violation. So yeah, sorry. You're gonna have to uh, get a new job. All right, let's go to Bosco. Bosco, take a gander at this. What is it? A death threat? Even better. It's instructions for the latest in Bosco tech innovation. Hmm. Well, let's see. A colander for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can build this. Just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna. Got it. Okay. Let's go to Sam and Max's apartment. Because... And hey, we already know there's an antenna there because of what we just played. Let's go, let's go. Let's get the car hanger. Max isn't gonna like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've gotta tell him as soon as possible. What's evil? Just, just the music and this and the ambiance, and I'm like, oh, it sounds evil. It's all evil. Your family may be in danger. See page <laughs> two for details. <laughs> Will a make do antenna do as a make do antenna? Yeah. Okay. Let me just add a little Bosco tech innovation. And here it is. The most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. There you go. Happy days are here again. Uh-oh, it seems like the old moolah gauge is running on empty. Ah, take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. <laughs> so don't break it. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. <laughs> Get into the car, Sam. Get into the car. I'm coming, Max. In the Ava, Sam. Hmm. All right, let's get in there. Oh, first of all, let's wear the uh, anti-hypnosis blocker. Uh, I'll put it on inside Brady Culture's home. I wouldn't want to be caught wearing last year's fashions in this neighborhood. Okay. <laughs> Rule number three, always wear protective headgear when confronting diabolical villains with hypnotic devices. There you go. Hand over the Lagomorph culture. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. What's this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? Well, if you really want to watch it again. And what? Look. Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is cooked. Time out for the cavalry. You've colored out oh, no. the lines of the law. It's the 70s Please, gang. Culture. The 70s gang. We see you, and this time we're going are... to get hypnotized again. <laughs> I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, my foolish pawns, attack the dog! Ah. Soda poppers are there. Caffeine rush! Of course. 
That doesn't need another coat. Hmm. Attack the dog! Okay. What am I supposed to do here? It's a stack of those Ibo videos. I'd rather punch other things. Okay, it is Max. It's a stack of those Ibo videos. Are you gonna go there? Attack the dog! Ow! Alright. They're blocking your pup. Hmm. What will you do? There's only so much I can do, is the thing. <laughs> That won't help me rescue Max. Here's a clue. Attack the dog. One moment. Ouch. All right, what's the clue? Talk to the party puppers. The so the puppers. So ah. the puppers. <laughs> attack. Oh. Attack Brady Culture. No. Attack the dog. Ow. <laughs> Okay, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't even realize that I could actually talk to them. I just, I just thought that they would like keep attacking me. Become me, somersaulting Democrats in a crate of sour. <laughs> Patience is a sharp razor to swallow. You crack me up, little buddy. Who's that supposed to be? Stop <laughs> this foolishness! Attack the dog! Ow. <laughs> You're getting close. You're getting mm -hmm. close. Become Brady Culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding. Worship the videotapes. <laughs> what nonsense. Ow. All right, so they're going to keep attacking. I just kind of want to like, see also all of the, uh, all the yeah. different uh, <laughs> options. Attack the videotapes. Hmm. Attack the dog. Ow. Alright. Worship Brady Culture. <laughs> it's a stack of those Ibo. Alright, go, go, go. Attack the dog. Alright, that's not gonna do anything. <laughs> You're close. Worship Brady. Right, I'm gonna, uh -huh. worship, gonna worship him and then. Caffeine rush! Nope, that's not it. Worship the videotapes. Come on. Imbeciles. Okay. Attack the dog! <laughs> Alright. Worship me. Worship me. No, me, me, worship me. You're my minions, mine. You okay, little buddy? Oh, sure. I've been amusing our adversary with gory haiku poems while he plays that dumb song over and over. Hey, that's my theme song. Attack the dog. <laughs> okay, so we're going in circles. <laughs> Okay. Would you like guidance? Uh, in a bit. In a bit. Mm -hmm. Just let me know. Uh huh. Attack the video. No, we already tried that. Oh, oh, never mind. Smart move, Sam. You played him like a two-dollar glockenspiel. I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. I tried to send you semaphore signals with my ears, but you know how I always <laughs> accidentally skip the dialogue there. Up. You crack me up, little buddy. Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence. There we well, go. that's that, Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. 
thank goodness this whole hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason. And that's a nice hook for next time. So, that is episode one of Sam and Max Save the World. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. What do you guys think? Because I know some of you were uh, watching for the first time. What did you guys think? What did you think, think Tifa? It's been kind of weird. I'm not sure if... Uh, well, I haven't really played that many like uh, point-and-click games that mm -hmm. much as, uh, as a child, so... It's kind of like a weird um, genre for me. It, mm -hmm. it, it looked fun, but it does make you like try to work around what's happening so that you can try to guess correctly. Like yeah. I wouldn't like like for example in the dreamscape, I would have not known about like oh shoot at the at the it sign so that you can get the ha the, the head or like, really makes you think it, where it, it really makes you think outside the box it, like like yeah. that you know it, it gives you okay so here's what you can do now mix and match everything uh, to to get mm -hmm. results. Kind of like mash buttons until something happens. Yeah, I'm glad you guys had fun. We have five more episodes of uh, of this first game to do before we're all done with it. I am gonna skip the credits if possible. Uh, I don't know if it is possible. All right, never mind. Oh, done. so you are playing the 2020 version. Yeah, I'm playing the uh, In Memory of uh, Karen Nelson. Aw. It's because yeah. it says you're like, oh, choose this. If you're playing the 2020 version, click on this other thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, there was a, um, in, in the launcher, it shows, like, the different, uh, the different versions you can play. Like, the original or the, uh, or the remaster. But, yeah, that is episode one all done. Next time is going to be episode two situation comedy uh but with that being said uh i mean why don't end the stream immediately uh are you sure you want to quit yes quit the game just change back to full screen there we go but yeah i had fun did you have fun tifa yes yeah okie dokie uh but yeah i'm glad you guys enjoyed yourselves uh it is a very fun game, and I can't wait to play the rest of it with you guys. Um, yeah. Uh, also, Tiva, do you like the uh, the artwork I commissioned from uh, from Becky? It's sitting in the. Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, it's sitting in the uh, in the top right corner right now. You have the girl Haru. <laughs> yes, Haru. You got the girl, you got you got pink poodle puff. Mhm. Mm and I got my. Uh, Freaking wholesome, purple-haired, depressed child. <laughs> no. <laughs> so is it the the character on the left to, supposed to be like your earliest like comfort character, or is it the other way around? I don't know. Also, yes, Lilith, go to bed, please. I will when the stream ends. <laughs> it's gonna end. Hey, we're gonna end in about five ten minutes, so it's all good. Um, let me double check that actually. Go to bed. <laughs> Let me double check that, Tifa. Um, one moment. So, uh, da, 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 da. two biggest comfort characters. Uh, I don't think there's any specification because I'm just checking the original tweet right now, and yeah, I don't think it's any specification on that. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't think it matters, all things considered. Sleep is for the weak. No, you need your sleep. Sleep is for the smart. <laughs> sleep is for the pretty. Sleep is for... Go to bed! <laughs> See ya, Tevya. Thanks for coming down again. Thanks to the drunk guy. Thanks to the drunk guy in the in the credits. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I 
when I, when I think of comfort characters, these two just come to mind immediately, which is why I got them, uh, which is why I got them done for this, uh, for this meme. But, with that being said, I, I do think this is a good place to, uh, to end it here for now. Uh, especially because I think I'll give my full thoughts on the, on the game as a whole for, like, once we've all finished, like, once we've finished off. I could give my thoughts on, like, the individual episodes, but, like... Uh, as far as the first episode is concerned, I don't think there's all that much to really talk about. It was, it was fun. I, I really do like a lot of the ways in which it teaches you, like, kind of how, like, how to look out for a lot of the things in the game and, like, kind of go, going back and forth between Sybil and Bosco. I, I really like it. I, I, I think it is, uh, it was a fun first episode, but, uh, I'm sure we'll have a lot more to, uh, dissect and discuss next time and as we keep going on and as we keep getting more locations to, uh, to go to across the game, so... With that being said, thank you to everyone who was in the chat. Thank you, Tifa, for uh, for joining me once again. Uh, yeah, and uh, until next time, which will be next week, uh, either to same day next week or tomorrow next week, uh, we will be playing episode two of Sam and Max, and we'll be having a fun time. So, until then, I'm Philip, and I will see you guys with some more Sam and Max Save the World. Have a good one, everyone.